So the why question, why this book? Why do it? Every congregation I've ever gone to in the last eight years, probably all my life, all tell me the same thing. They want new people. I mean, they don't know what it means necessarily, uh, but they want new people. They want young people. They want more diverse people. They want, they want, kid, they want young adults. And um, so the why this book is not going to happen because we wish it. It's going to happen when we get the moral courage to start forming relationships with people we don't know. And most of our relationship circles are full and for most of our folks. That's, what does that mean, relationship well, their, circles are full? Their friendship life is full. That's why they come to church. And they'll, they'll, say to me, they'll say to me, in fact, everybody I know is Christian. But the truth is that's true. Everybody they know is Christian. But their circle is very small and their circle is insulated uh, within the confines of the church culture. And so uh, if they want to, in fact, reach new people, younger people, more diverse people, we have to learn how to stretch beyond our normal places and make connections with people we don't know and form relationships to build authentic relationship with those new people that they would trust us. Because until people trust us, then our invitation to them to come to our church means absolutely nothing. And in fact, I already know the answer. If you ask, at least in the Midwest, maybe it's different in other places of the country, but if you ask most people in the Midwest, do you want to go to my church? I already know the answer. No. Why would you do that? And that's sort of like me asking uh, somebody to the far family reunion or the far Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know you very well, but I'm asking, I'm inviting you to my Thanksgiving dinner. Gee, how do you think that feels? I mean, that would actually, you think, no, oh, that's a weird invitation. Why would you even do that? And even though my family's pretty nice, we'd do everything we could to be nice to you. But the fact is, man, you're at the far family reunion. You're not a far. Going to most of our churches on Sunday mornings is like walking into a family reunion. And if you're not walking in with somebody, with one of the family members that you've trusted and they trust you, guys, the answer is no. Why would I do that? So this is going to teach folks how to build an authentic relationship in real life terms that causes somebody to trust them, ask the why question of God, and say, would you like to come back with me to the community of faith? And we're going to walk in together. And walking in together, we have a better chance of that person being convicted by the Holy Spirit and something happening in their life. That's why this book.